it was a very, very popular spot when I was growing up here in Manistique. Uh, typically full crowds, families, uh, good place to bring a date to, very popular for that. The Cinema 2 Drive-In Theater was a hopping hangout for residents of Manistique when it opened in the 50s. When the economy fell in the early 2000s, the theater shut down, leaving locals feeling a little melancholy. But the desire to do something nice for the community empowered members of the Schoolcraft County Economic Development Corporation to breathe life back into the long vacant land. In collaboration with Limestone Federal Credit Union and several dedicated volunteers, the drive-in showed Back to the Future last month. With a whopping 343 cars parked in the yard and over 1,200 people in attendance, the showing received a lot of attention. We had folks from 11 other UP communities that we know of come to that first drive-in show uh, from other states. Uh, somebody from Canada drove in. So it was a huge event, drew a lot of people, a lot of interest. And I think it just uh, goes to show when you do a good deed, you know, good things happen. The last guy who made it through the gate before we were out of parking spots was happy beyond belief. Uh, to be able to get in here to see this. And he had the very worst spot in the, in the yard to watch from, but he was still extremely happy. And we didn't have to turn anyone away. Coordinators received positive feedback and a plethora of inquiries about a second showing. Interested in the idea, but knowing the equipment wasn't quite up to par, Sherbanow started a GoFundMe page to raise money for a new projector. In just 10 days, the goal of $2,500 was raised. With newfound enthusiasm and proper equipment, coordinators are excited about the possibilities the drive-in holds. One of the ideas uh, that I would love to see happen is maybe collecting home movies, uh, old film of the area, and putting that onto some kind of uh, digital format and being able to play that out uh, for a historical uh, event. But for now, those involved are happy to put on a handful of classics from the eras where drive-ins were all the rage. The drive-in will be open at least one more time this year with the showing of Miracle on September 10th, sponsored by the Manistique Hockey Association. Attendance is free and all are welcome. Reporting from Manistique for ABC 10 in the CW5, I'm Chelsea Birdsall.